All right, Shalom, I'm giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS, great millstone, peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith, the elect. And yeah, we got another assassination attempt on the Donald, man. They trying to they trying to get your boy out of there. Um, you know, whether it's real or whether it's fake. Uh there's a lot of pol political theater uh going on right now. And even when you read the GNT version of Second of Just Fifteen, it said that there would be uh political turmoil. What is what does turmoil mean? Let's look that up real quick. Cause in the GNT version it said political uh turmoil. In the prophetic chapter of Second Edges 15, a great a state of great commotion, confusion, or disturbance. All right, so, and uh, yeah, and that's what we got. We got a bunch of disturbing uh, things happening right now surrounding this political climate, surrounding this economy, surrounding these times. And uh, yeah, they're trying to get your boy out of there, man. Um, and another thing is he's being set up as a messiah. You know, when you type in Trump messiah, I've seen articles of them labeling him as a messiah you got this video a video makes the rounds online depicts trump as a messiah like uh trump's messianic message um better than jesus how far would a code of trump go trump supporters see him as a messiah the belief that trump is a messiah is rampant and dangerous yeah history shows the danger of comparing trump to jesus and you know you had you had trump a while ago taking that down psyop ass picture holding the bible looking crazy as hell we we'll pull that up real quick you remember this like you know whatever this is supposed to mean but you know this is part of the psyop you know him being set up as a as a messiah and, you know and our lord and savior who's the true messiah warned that there would be, you know, many, many false ones coming. Uh, it's Matthew 24. You know, false prophets, false Christ. Uh, 24 and 5, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. You know, um, 11, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Because we're in the time of uh, great deception. You know, the truth is in the, uh, the Bible. And everyone is going astray from the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. He holding the Bible. And, and this is all the psyop to, to, to link him as a Messiah like figure. And then you have different articles out there painting him and saying how he's like a Messiah. Because, you know, pretty much what the Edomites of America are saying that, you know, this is the Savior. You know, pretty much they got him up against Joe and Kamala. And they got him making these talking points like make America great again and you know, uh, bettering the uh, relations with other nations to bring peace and all this and that. When uh, really, you know, the ultimate plan is to do away with this whole system of uh, voting Democrat Republic and, and bring in a new uh, te technocracy uh, 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 based uh, system, you know, bringing uh, chaos, bringing, you know, chaos and then bringing order out of that chaos. But first, they're going to use both sides of the, 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 the political parties to help do that. Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, which is Babylon the Great. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. And that's the system uh, that Babylon has through his political system where they have these the, the, the two opposing talking points, which they belong to the same beast. And through the back and forward and, the you know, uh, through these uh, assassination attempts, they, 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 they also trying to stir up you know, people to fight against one another and crawl, cause that great chaos so that they can bring forth the new system where they're going to speak as a dragon, which is pretty much through AI. You know, AI is going to be regulating, you know, every every day-to-day uh, -day operation in everyone's life. And you see that because they, they keep introducing AI to everything. If you look on social media, if you look on all your websites, like my my uh, my, my business platform site, they I had took a t some time away and I just signed back up with them and they introducing it, um, the AI integration to where you just tell it what you want to do and it pretty much do it all for you. And so that's really that that uh, part of the system that's going to speak as a dragon because the AI is going to be um, it's going to be ruthless, you know, because it's not human. You know, it has no emotions and, um, you know, the people that control it, you know, they're going to be like gods because they're going to be controlling the thing that's governing and controlling all of humanity. So we're not, you know, we ain't ignorant of Satan's devices. You know, we know we know what's up. You know, we know that ain't nothing by coincidence, especially when you're dealing with Babylon the Great, because Isaiah 47 told us that, you know, this place would be would have an abundance of uh, sorceries and enchantments. And they do it all through, through this media and 
you know, through the TV and not to say again, not to say there wasn't a real attempt on his life. It could have been, you know, but we know that there's always the left hand at play with all of this shit. They don't let nothing go to waste, you know, and uh, all it's going to take is is, is uh, his supporters to rise up and start, you know, commit acts of violence against the uh, the, the uh, left which the left is full of, uh, you know, women and, 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 and genderless, you know, people. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, they're going to be quick to, to be the victim and, and, and quick to, to, to play a uh, file and, and, and cry out and say we need, we need uh, you know, we need more, 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 more control from the government. We need more protections. And then they're going to come with that, with that wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So, like I said, this just came in today. I don't have all the, the details on it. A spokesperson for Donald Trump campaign said he's safe after gunshots were heard while he was at his Florida golf club, and and also this goes into taking away the guns too. You know they want to get rid of the, uh, they want to disarm the people. So this is all going to be uh, used to say this is why we need to get rid of guns because the gun violence is getting out of control. But it ain't nothing that they're going to be able to do about that because um, people people about ready to to snap, right? People about ready to snap on this on these people, man. So, go ahead and go to that second address, 15, real quick. Because it's about time for this thing to go on down, man. You know, people people playing cool and playing insane, you know, long enough. And the Lord about ready to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Second address, 15, 15, for the sword and death destruction draw off now. Right, and the ultimate sword is that, that nuclear fire. All right, the, the Lord said he have a sword bathed in heaven. All right, them, them missiles going to get to flying and burn this shit up. All right, and that's not, that's not me. That's what, that's what the Bible say. It says, and when people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands, right? And here in the United States, that's just uh, divided as hell. You know, you're going to have those who are uh, gun right advocates. You know, they're going to stand up and fight against those that's trying to take away their guns. They're going to stand up and fight against all those that are, you know, uh, pushing liberal ideologies and, you know, uh, you know, the Lord is setting this thing up perfect too, man. Verse 16, for there should be sedition among men. And sedition is, you know, uh, uh, speech or behavior that that is uh, that incites rebellion against authority. So there's going to be uh, rebelling against these authority figures. It says an invading one another, you know, right? Because cause, uh, real soon, you know, coming to a, a liberal city near you all over out. Babylon, you're going to have people going into people's homes and they're going to go in there with them swords, too. You know, they 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 put they putting that predictive print programming out there. They saying, hey, you can go in here and steal, but it must be under nine hundred fifty dollars worth of stuff. You know, they, they pretty much promoting a lawless uh, uh, society. It says, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And yeah, and people in their pride say that these days will never come. They say it'll yeah, never get like this. America will never be like that. And now that it's getting like that, you know, tough titty. All right, houses going to be destroyed and people going to be afraid of because of the lawlessness. It ain't going to be no 911. Motherfucking you call 911 and it's taking them 40 minutes, two, three, four, five hours to come, if they even come. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Why? Because the love of many shall wax cold because iniquity is abounding. So there's really no more love out here. You know, ain't no people don't have good manners no more. People don't hold the dough. People don't say thank you. I held the dough for some motherfuckers a day at the store. Seven of them motherfuckers walk through. Ain't nobody say thank you. You know, I say, okay, this is my last time doing that shit. I ain't holding the door for nobody else. You know, it's, it's just like, you know, these people on some other shit. So all it's going to take is just a little a little nudge in, in that direction to, to, to goddamn do what they do and not feel no type of empathy for one another. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So... All these resources becoming scarce, always a recall every day of the week, something getting recalled, right? And because people ain't rooted in faith, they ain't got no patience, all right? And at this time, a great tribulation is coming on Babylon where people are so used to being, you know, goddamn comfortable and having things and having that, that, that safe space and having, you know, a little, a little you know, a little cushion, a little, a little you know, just being, being okay, 
you know, always having grocery store full of full of supplies, always having, um, you know, welfare resources, all them things getting taken away. And so people about to goddamn show who they really are, which this place is full of demons, man. Everybody got fucking demons and, 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 and shit on them, man. You know, the Lord said ain't nothing that's hidden that ain't going to be uh, revealed. And so everything is being revealed, man. We're in the time of the, the scriptures, man. Revelations, the peeling back, peeling back the veil. Everything is coming to the to the forefront of what, what exactly everything is, which this whole place has been a facade the whole time. It's been a it's been a it's been a, a big show the whole time, man. Everybody acting fronting. You know, Rich Homie Quan just passed away, people acting like they cared about him and he was he was so great and this man when y'all weren't thinking about his ass, y'all was calling him a junkie. He been saying he was on pills and shit and, and on, on all that shit. Y'all weren't saying, man, we need to get you some help. Y'all didn't care. Right, so, you know, we're going to see what happened, man. They, they, you know, we're going to see if this leads to a real, you know, if they really take him down or really put out that he gets, he's he's gone and what happens or whatever. But, you know, that's why you got to watch and pray, man, because this shit happening every day is some some something, something going on, you know, in, in the spirit and theme of prophecy. And we, we that much close. So, you know, I just want to goddamn talk about this and, you know, Lord willing, this be edifying, you know, quick, little impromptu, giving all praise to you. I'll buy you, man. I'll